Hey guys, day one of starting Kisemta. Yes. Kisemta. And that is for MS, multiple sclerosis. For everyone that does not know what that is. Yes. I was diagnosed um, three years ago with multiple sclerosis, and I was on Copaxin for three years, seven, one injection, seven days a week. That was rough, but it did me good. I got off that after three years, tried two other um, oral medications, did not do well on those as far as just made me sick. So then now here is Kesimpta, new just on the market, the end of 2020. Um, I already did my injection. So next week will be, Angelina will be filming me to keep my journey on file. And for those of you that may want to do key symptom in your life, this is new. And I'm going to record my journey of it all and just keep it for um, support with other MSers such as myself. And this is going to be actually, this is going to be the first can I say report? Because Angelina <laughs> is uh, starting her own newspaper, news page. Because this is going to be the first article. So anybody support, you'll be able to ask questions, follow my journey, and um, just be a part of that newspaper as well. Um, I already put my injector in here. Uh, they come pre-filled. It's 20 milligrams. I did inject in my abdomen tonight. Um, that's where I'm most comfortable. If you see my arms here, they're depleted from the Copaxin. I don't have, I got some fatty tissues now. I've gained a lot of weight, but when I started Kesimpta, I mean Copaxin, that's all also subcutaneous, subcutaneous injection. That means under the skin. These medications do not go into the muscle. So here's this big old ugly suitcase they give you. Um, to put your auto inject in the auto inject is really fast lickety split um, really no pain um, Really no bad side effects is from what I've researched. They give you plenty of reading information um, In there and usually us warriors we belong to multiple sclerosis groups awareness groups I do um, and I also um, listen to a few neurologist um, specialists with MS on um, YouTube. I'm subscribed and I love the research um, to know what's new out there, how the disease can change my life, how it affects others and to make a difference in the community with MS. So hopefully one day there's a, there will be a cure. Um, there's so much information now with stem cell research, um, other medications. Now I'm looking as far as diet inflammation even though they say that there's no particular diet for MS but if you believe certain foods sugars chocolates affect you as they do me then you know to minimize those in your daily diet to make you feel better chocolate makes me so slow and heavy the next three four days later so certain types of chocolate the way it's cooked made formed Candy bars are my enemy, but I could eat chocolate cake. Weird. Um, I have run across other MSers who say the same thing about certain foods that they eat affect their body. Um, MSers suffer from, from fatigue greatly. And that's one of my biggest enemies is the fatigue. So I'm hoping with the Kesimpta, everything will go smoothly. I won't have any problems with it as I hope everyone out there that is using Kesimpta, there's a few people, a lot of people I should say, it's just not recorded. Um, I've looked up videos. I have not find, found one warrior that is using Kesimpta that is recorded and posted their videos on YouTube. I am going to do that. We need more information. This medicine is new. And if I could help out with um, anything stating how the Kesimpta um, is affecting me the good and the bad and the ugly I I definitely want other people to know so here's day one May 5th 16th 2021 Kesimpta on board yay yay